Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. The topic of discussion is trichuriasis. What is trichuriasis? It is a parasitic hermetic disease that is very common in children. What is the etiology of trichuriasis or the causative agent of trichuriasis? It is known as trichuris trichura. It is named the whipworm. It looks more like a whip with a, a slim anterior end and a broad posterior end. Let's look briefly at the life cycle of Trichuris trichura. It has a broad posterior section and a thin anterior portion that gives Trichuris the, char the characteristic whip-like shape. The adult worms reside in the colon and cecum with the anterior portion threaded into the superficial mucosa where the adult female worms lay thousands of eggs daily, which are passed with the feces of the host and undergo maturation in the soil. Following ingestion, infective eggs hatch in the duodenum, releasing larvae that mature before migrating to the large bowel. The entire cycle takes about three months and adult ones may lay live for several years. Here is the life cycle of Trichuris trichura. The summary is that humans get infected when they eat food, particularly unwashed vegetables, contaminated with the embryonated eggs. And so the eggs uh, hatch in the small intestine and eventually become adults or if the unembryonated eggs are passed in feces following fertilization of the eggs of the female, these unembryonated eggs uh, begin, uh, begin maturation. Here you have the two cell stage. Eventually you have the advanced cleavage and then the fully embryonated egg containing the larva, which can be swallowed in contaminated food or unwashed vegetables or even water. Epidemiology of trichuriasis. Poor hygiene is a risk factor for acquiring or contracting trichuriasis. Other risk factors include consumption of fecally contaminated foods, particularly unwashed vegetables, and consumption of shaded moist soil. Children are especially, especially vulnerable to infection due to their high exposure risk. What are the clinical manifestations of trichuriasis? Tissue reactions to whipworms are mild, but most infected in individuals are asymptomatic or they have no symptoms, but some exhibit eosinophilia. Heavy infections may result in abdominal pain, anorexia, and mucoid or what is known as trichuris dysentery or bloody diarrhea. 
the most important clinical manifestation of trichoriasis is rectal prolapse, where the rectum comes out of the anus. This is due to massive infections in children, and they often suffer from malnutrition and other diarrheal illnesses. Moderately heavy whip warm burdens also contribute to growth retardation. The child appears stunted. Laboratory diagnosis of trichoriasis will involve preparation, wet mouth preparation of the stool sample and the characteristic lemon shell shaped whip warm eggs can be seen. Prevention and control of trachoriasis. Proper disposal of human fecal waste. Then treatment of cases with the azole drugs such as mebendazole or abendazole. These azole drugs are safe and effective for treatment. These are links for further reading. Thank you for listening. <laughs>